And now, weather with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Tony Durda. Good afternoon, everybody. Greatly appreciate you joining us here, Pro News 7, for your weather information on midday. And it looks like we've got things heating up out there. We're trying to clear off some of the clouds, and with the sunshine breaking through, it's not only giving us a pretty nice afternoon with winds somewhat breezy out there, but it's also going to destabilize our atmosphere, and that could mean the production of more showers and thunderstorms later on. We have an approaching upper level system, and with that, the possibility of severe weather. So very important forecast coming your way right now. Let's take a look first at our school net sites around the region. And as it is responding to the sunshine out there, temperatures in the low 70s in most locations. Paladero High School at 73 degrees. Right here at the studios, we've got 72. With a south wind trying to climb up there at about, oh, 10 to 15 miles an hour, sometimes 10 to 20 miles an hour. It will be a windy afternoon, maybe not quite as much as yesterday. We had some really strong winds yesterday, uh, above 40, 45 miles an hour, including some peak wind gusts up in the Oklahoma Panhandle went above 60 miles an hour. So we don't need that kind of stuff around here, but we will have a pretty breezy to windy afternoon. Temperatures on the south side of town in the mid 70s at the colonies at 76, Ascension Academy at 74, and a pretty gusty wind there out of the south above 20 miles an hour. Off to the northwest, Dow Hart at 73, 73 in Hartley, wind not too strong up here right now. And over to the northeast, 72 Hooker, 74 at Perryton, and 74 degrees at Stinnett. And winds breezy at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, generally out of the south and southeast. Memphis at 76, Childers 75, a 10 mile an hour east to southeast breeze there. And over to the southwest, 73 at Dimmit, Freona at 73. 12 mile an hour south and southwest wind in that location. I want to check out the rest of our current conditions there at Dimmit. Mainly what I'm looking at here is the dew point. Pretty high. We've got a lot of moisture across the area, and that also will be the fuel for showers and thunderstorms later on in 73 degrees, as mentioned there at the Dimmit Middle School. All right, let's take a look again at this graphic because I want to make sure you have this information. A slight risk area across Amarillo and points east, the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle under the gun later on this afternoon. We could see thunderstorms fire up and they could have strong or severe weather with them. That means large hail, damaging winds, and the possibility of an isolated tornado as well. This will be later on this afternoon, this evening, and on into tonight. Big storm system coming our way from the central and southern Rockies. As it approaches, more and more destabilization of the atmosphere and that'll mean more and more better chances for rain. Right now, 74 degrees at the airport, 77 Dodge City, 78 Oklahoma City. As the front and dry line approaches later on this afternoon, we'll have a high about 80 degrees, and along that front, showers and thunderstorms erupting later this afternoon. South-southeast winds 20 to 30 miles an hour and a bit gusty. That dry line will back up a little bit later on, leave us with more expectations of showers and thunderstorms through the overnight, and, of course, the evening hours, 55 on that overnight low, south and southeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. And again, any one of these thunderstorms could get strong or severe. Then the whole frontal dry line system comes at us through the day tomorrow. More showers and thunderstorms, especially the eastern half of the Texas Panhandle, 71 degrees on our high temperature for tomorrow. Wind switching around to the northwest and north very late, probably in the afternoon, at 10 to 20 miles per hour as this frontal system pulls on through. We could see the potential for anywhere from a half inch off to the western parts of the Texas Panhandle to more than one to three inches of rainfall across the eastern parts of our area through the day tomorrow. So some good rainfall hopefully approaching our region. So here's your forecast for today. High of 80 degrees, low 80s in most locations. It'll be windy and the threat of widely scattered, possibly severe showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon. Our forecast then for the remainder of Today then calls for 81 in Canyon, 81 here, mostly sunny skies, showers and thunderstorms developing later on and into the overnight hours, 55 on the overnight low temperature, south and southeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, and most locations will see low to mid 50s. Now after it clears out tomorrow with that cold front and the rain kind of ending, we have a cool, damp conditions for the remainder of the weekend, and then we moderate on into the beginning of next week with another front approaching there Tuesday and Wednesday. So. This might be the best chance for rain in a very long time, this widespread and this amount of rain. Well, you know, it's certainly a blessing to see that rain. And, of course, you guys are going to be here all day keeping people. We will be monitoring it for you from A to Z as, far as, we, as far as necessary. There you go.